Hey there, my name's Ben. The purpose of this video is to share my own thoughts on a topic that means a lot to me. Video game music. Ever since I was a child, I've been playing video games of all kinds. For me and many others, it's something we grew up with and it has a very special place in our hearts. Most of my childhood, and even now, I like to dream and really invest time in the games I play. If, because games have always been sort of my escape from the harsh reality we live in. Games help shape the person I am today, and I'll always treasure that, for the fun of storytelling and thrilling gameplay. But even so, what affects me most is video game music, which is a big part of how I learn about my own feelings towards the world. Music from video games may be something that people generally look at, not real music, but as for me, the emotions I feel from hearing video game music is powerful beyond anything else. Certain tracks can remind me of my past, making me feel happy or even weak in the knees. It all boils down to what sort of games you play and what kind of experiences you went through during that time. Take this piece from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. This is a theme that most of all connects me with my childhood. A sense of sadness yet peacefulness is what comes to mind. Even though the journey isn't over at that point in the game, this track is supposed to make the player feel self-reflection. You know, seeing how far you've come and that realizing at some point your journey will end. This still remains my second favorite Pokemon track right after Undella Town from Pokemon Black and White. Unlike the Canaleaf City theme, this has a more direct feel of finality to it. The end of the road vibe. This is the end, it's time to say goodbye to the characters and the world you've grown attached to. These are tracks I find myself listening to whenever I relax as well as when I'm sad. Needless to say, aside from feelings like these, game music also brings me great joy, be that in the form of hype or happiness so strong that it can bring me to tears. Everyone likes to trash talk Sonic 06, and I get it, the game has a lot of bugs and a very strange story in all. Even so, as almost every Sonic game, the music stands tall. Seeing as this was my first Sonic game, I appreciate it bringing me into an amazing series of games. This track brings me sheer joy, high speed action in an outside setting with the sun shining bright on a summer day. This theme is what summer is to me, a fun and open world ready to be explored. The thing video game music perfectly captures is world building. An excellent track from a video game can evoke more than just emotions. This track from a Metroid Prime 2 is what I like to call a world building song. The song through its uses of melody and instruments builds up an alien world, a mysterious place where caution is best practiced. A feeling of unease gathers around the player as you explore. This music alone does this great a job, combined with the actual gameplay and the setting the player can see for themselves, thus creating stellar immersion in the world of Aether which you explore in Metroid Prime 2. What I love above all else is to immerse myself in the world of video games. Through its emotions and world building, I get to feel like I'm really there in the game. I've learned so much about my own emotions through games thanks to this. This track is one of those that makes me drift off, lose sight of the world around me. The relaxing nature of this track alone is enough to make me fall asleep. Featured in Donkey Kong Country's water levels, one might say this feels out of place for an action-packed platformer. However, combined with the gameplay of not being able to attack, nor a time limit, I feel like this track suits the environment just superbly. Now, water levels are often a point of negativity in gaming, often as hated as ice levels. This track serves as a companion, I feel like, telling me to keep going, keeping me relaxed and appreciate the level for what it is.
To summarize this all, games mean the world to me. Its music is a big part of what shaped me into the person I am today, through intense emotions of happiness and sadness, and getting me immersed in each and every world I visit. I absolutely adore video game music. To the day I die, I will always cherish the memories from each and every song and my life's journey to where I am now. Hey, thanks for making it to the end. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be doing any more of these, but at least for now I just want to share my own thoughts on the subject. Hopefully it turned out alright. Subscribing or not, it's your choice. I'm just happy that anybody wanted to listen to me. So, have a good one.